Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's episode 47. Who'd have thought we'd have got this far? So, there's a bale of grass there, isn't there? That's a shame. Let's get that moved. What to do with... these trees I like the look of them I've returned the olive harvester it's no use to us at the minute This has really got me a bit of a, a quandary. What I'm thinking though. I did say I don't particularly like this fence, didn't I? A potential idea. I'm putting trees along the side of here. Oop. But you go. Tree line this section a bit. Maybe, maybe put some trees that side. Where's the sun? Comes up over that way. And cast the shade backwards. Hmm. Maybe put some trees out here. The sheep do enjoy the olive trees, there's no doubting about that. But maybe we get I'm thinking we get some trees planted we can harvest them make money off them when they've grown they will take ages to grow but Oh yeah, that scared me. Yeah, I'm all fruit. So let's Let's begin by getting that out of the way. That bale. Thank you. 
Ooh, this could go wrong. Lucky. Yeah, I think we'll we'll plant trees today. We uh, we took some trees down. We need, we should put some back. Let's make sure we don't catch any of the lambs with the forks on this. Ooh, yeah, or otherwise we'll know what we're having for dinner. What? Right. Now why is that, I thought I'd put that in Has something gone wrong, has this not saved from the last time, from the last video? Making a art mess of this, aren't I? What's going on? There you go. That seemed harder than it should have been. Is that, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried now that I've not saved the game from the last game. I think it's going to be a problem though, is it really? I hope not. It's definitely not ideal as I don't have a bigger tractor up here. So I need a tractor to get up to the store. Oh, what's that? Totally not what we require. But it looks brilliant. Passenger seat. That's not comfortable, is it?
Hello. Pumped. Yeah, we're not getting that. Um, we need... What do we need? A forestry equipment. Is it in for? Yeah, that's the planter. Is there anything else? So we need to lease that. Needs a hundred and twenty horsepower. Oh dear. Oh, let's go and get a... Let's walk over to... I could do with clearing this area out, really. This gives a lot more room if we did. I don't want to do it yet. Not while it's still autumn. It's a winter job, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to walk over, get a tractor. Uh, I'll meet you up at the shop. So, we've leased the tree harvester. And we've got 20... Uh, do you get spruce or pine? Pine. 20 pine trees. You've got to hope that... This will be able to... plant them it's very low to the ground so where do we go first for planting you know what Back of the BGA, I think, would make sense. It's further to go if we find out this doesn't work, but... key thing to remember here is we're going to be harvesting these trees so we want them positioned where when we've took them down they're going to hopefully fall on land that we can harvest them from because if we cross onto another part of land might raise us quite a problem. Now incidentally I've just been checking on the build menu. Um, we can't place any more 
animal pens. Well, that didn't look very good, did it? I think that's not tearing up. Just a random animation for it. So yeah, obviously there is the maximum amount of pens on the map already. So if we want to place any more animal pens, we've either got to get rid of animal pens or... buy a farm. Which could be fun. Right. Now my question is do we go straight up the line here Or do we attempt a line here? The problem I've got if we do do it here is like certain ones of these we're not allowed to cut. Oh, that one we can. I think that one says we can't. Them. Mm. Maybe space them out. There's no point going through the middle. best if we go downhill I thought it allowed you to determine the spacings of the trees it doesn't seem to be given that option I think we should be looking roughly around there. How far back? About there we want to keep space to get in and out with vehicles. So, lower. Moment of truth. one around here
and you sort of continue the line that we've got with the other two one roughly around there and one down there And then we'll... That animation is very nice. Probably because the, tr the tractor is too small for the job to do it, really. And we will head back over. We've got ten to play with. I suppose we're going to grow them and then cut them down. So... We're not going to be doing the. We're not going to add any more olive trees at the minute. That's for sure, because there's no point. But that doesn't mean we should necessarily knock them down. We can always grow more trees if we did decide to not do the olive trees. This could be quite transformative. We'll go up the other side of the olive trees and row some out there. Lovely. And you can five across the top. Five across the top. Like I'm playing countdown. Gonna be tight. I've just realised that if I did want to cut through, I've just put some trees up in the way, haven't I? Oh dear. Right, that one's gonna grow quite big there. I think that should look quite nice. It sort of encloses it in a little bit. And we're certainly going to be looking towards I don't want to add too many trees. So this can go back to the shop. Twenty should be enough. We'll have to wait a while for them to come down, but we can chop down other trees now whilst we've got the opportunity with them growing. 
recycle. This should give us points for sustainability. Not on precision farming, I don't think, so I don't think that's a thing. I'm sure on another map it allowed me to change the distance. Maybe I'm thinking back to 19. Oh, lovely stuff. Right, next. Next job for us. Oh, we can tell them that's returned. It's 1300 quid spent. Uh, plus a grand on the trees. Selling things, I think we should head on over to let's head over to the allotment because I've got a bit of an idea. Nothing's really at the best price to sell yet, apart from I think solid fertiliser is good to sell at the minute, and we've got no fertilising contracts on. So we could make some money by dishing out some solid fur. However, there's nowhere to sell it. So I think down by our allotment for now we should pop ourselves a little shop in. So we can sell seeds and and fertilizer and possibly other bits and bobs I feel maybe we should do I feel I think let's pop in quickly and have a check on this silo because I think it's full I think we filled it 
and I'm wondering whether Yeah, I've planted canola. Pretty much all the way through this. That might look interesting. you got in you? <laughs> Barley, oat, sorghum. I think we've got... What are we storing in the other silo? Mm, digestite's gone up very quickly. We're storing a lot of sorghum at the other one, so we could probably switch the sorghum out and over. Barley and oats are here. Probably put the oats over in the other one. Although there's quite a bit of that we could probably turn into seed. Do we expand this? I'm sure there's an extension for it. 5,000. That's 25,000 litres. It's overlapping with. I'll hold off on that for a moment. The Five thousand we don't necessarily need to sell. I do think it might be wise to put the sorghum up at the other one. Maybe the sorghum and the oats sort of just move down to their products that we're going to be selling. I don't know really. Maybe we don't need it. Potentially it is storage that we don't actually need. Money we could take back. A tricky one. I sort of like having it there. But it is also something we don't specifically need. I think the other one holds 
about half a million litres so that isn't a problem and it seems to have stopped the flickering there's been an update which is wonderful maybe we could have put our farm shop there I don't think it oh, he's far away from home around here is where our shop is going to go oh yeah I don't think I mentioned it because it during all the crashes we expanded the bee production a long way I was gonna wait until I planted the sugar peat in here but then I just thought now I quite like the idea of um, of all these coloured beehives right field will want nitrogen well after we've planted really I suppose pH value is okay at the minute. So uh, let's first things first, save. Before we mess anything up, let's save. Always very important to do. And then Cabbages. Cabbages. What well, idea of a bit of a cabbage? Watermelons and melons. Lettuce greenhouse. Oh, it's lettuce, of course it is. Not cabbage, it's a lettuce. Oh, no. These produce olives. And they're just in a box. A tree nursery. <laughs> I 
Well, I forgot that I downloaded that. If we could fit that somewhere like there. That'd be great down somewhere. But that's what I was thinking about. A small garden. But if I was to put it in, we'd have to lose something. Unless I took that tree out. Could we pop it in there? No, it's too big for there as well. It is, however, something we could put over near our small holding, little garden. I think that's a nice touch. We'll go and have a look at that in a moment. Uh, before I do start placing though, we want the interactive zone markers on so we need where it's coming. Right, cell points is what we're looking for, isn't it? Oh, I forgot I did it. all of these vending machines. All the bit specialists, it would appear. Just for your potatoes. Selling Lodge. Now that is something I would like. But we haven't got the money. 5,000 for the Selling Lodge. problem I've got with it is I don't think it will sell everything for two automats and the automats take Production bits, really, that isn't it? That is a shop that can sell pretty much everything harvested and produced goods, but it's just a shed, isn't it? Mm. Tree nursery. I'm very interested in the tree nursery. Watermelons. You put a whole building? No. Now I think that is possibly exactly what we are looking for. Why do you not want to go in there? That's a perfect spot for you. You think out in there? 
We'll just uh I think we just risk it and put it there. Let's go and have a close up. We've got all this grass we could cut as well, haven't we? Yep, pretty happy with that. We'll put some put a bit of texture in for it. sort of texture loose gravel Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Quite like the uh, that just sticking up as well, still growing out of there. I can turn up. Welcome them over. Get a bits and bobs. Now, let's just have a quick look again at that garden. Could that fit in there? sure that's going to fit in there even if I did take the tree away and there's delivery on that side of it so you probably have to put it in that angle I don't think that's going to work there. Which is a shame. As is that. reasonably happy with the little shop that we've got so we can sell bits and bobs let's just have a quick look at the market to see what is roughly at its best that we might have some of October Stall. 
1380 that's not too bad we could be looking a bit better a little bit later on not a lot in October maybe start making some money back next month so solid fertilizer so we can't sell solid fertilizer there or liquid fertilizer So is there anything that we can just sell everything from? So we sort of need to sell anything. thing back on don't I in that size really if it's too close we'll be losing it straight away that's pretty much too big and it will ruin what we've just done Well, Give that a gamble. And oh, then I think we're going to need to rename it. to rename something. D -d 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 -d. Let's just see. Selling station plane has got and now I'm gonna have to actually look for a sell anything then aren't I? Well, that was a shame. 
Nope. Nope. Oh well, we'll have a look and see what we can get. In the meantime, we probably don't need this, but we'll keep it for now just because it looks nice. Oh, look at the time. All that's left for me to say is I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop us a like. If you've not subscribed yet, please do. And if you've got any comments, drop them in the comments, book. Book? Box? <laughs> Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.